Hi you guys, so thank you so much for tuning into my channel. So today I'm finally going to be showing you the chickens. Are you ready? <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay, you guys. So again, most of you guys probably already know I went ahead and got some chickens. I know in the very beginning when I was thinking about it, I put a poll out on my YouTube and I asked if I got them, did you guys want to see videos on them and that kind of thing and I got more yeses than noes. So this is for you guys. I will be doing a lot more with the chickens. There's chicken subscription boxes now that they have so you'll see them interacting in with those as well. But I definitely wanted to do like one large video. This ends up kind of being a little bit long, sorry, but it's basically from the first day we brought them home all the way until their very first night in their own coop area. So if you would like to see how this whole process went and watch them grow up to be big girls in their own coop area, then here you go. Okay, so this is me bringing them home for the very first time. I only wanted two, but I went ahead and bought four. They couldn't guarantee male or female, but they said they should be hens. So I bought two of each so I can guarantee two hens. Don't jump out of my hand. Stay. Here's one. And don't poop on me. Oh, you just hopped away. She like, she literally, wants, she wants in here. I'm telling you. So here is... So this is day two, them waking up here. Let me go clean their water. I went ahead and purchased this little perch right here. It was quick and easy to put together, but I wanted them to learn how to start perching. So I put this in here and grabbed each one, worked with them a few times by just setting them on top of it, just so they would get used to gripping it with their little feet. And within no matter of time, they were doing it all on their own. I ordered these two containers. Felt like this one I can put the dried mealworms in as their treat. And then this big guy, I can put the big container of food in. This one does come with wheels if you wanted to put it on. I don't know if I'm going to, but it does have like a seal on the inside. And yeah, so I'm gonna put the food in there and then the worms will go in here. So my new morning routine is I come out every morning, I take the brooder out, I turn it off, I put in their little perch, I get them some new fresh dirt. This one right here, this is actually Carmela. She loves to stand on top, which I hope it's a she, but always has to be the highest one out of everybody. <laughs> but I go and I get some fresh dirt to put in here so they can start their day with everything nice and clean. And then I also give them nice clean water. Okay, so one of them pooped on me and it did not look pretty. It was a little gross. So I'm gonna go ahead and give them some electrolytes. This came in a little three pack. So I will mix one of these with this gallon of water and that is what I will give them to drink for the next few days. 
Okay, so a quick chicken fact, that poop was actually normal. I ended up giving them the electrolytes anyways, which is a great thing to give them in the summer when it's really, really hot or when you first get them. So I did a good thing, but that poop was actually normal. They shed some type of lining after every so many poops, like after nine to 10, it's going to look nasty. So that's something that I have to get used to. They definitely figured out the dirt bath really quick. And I found out that they are supposed to be eating grit to help them digest their food. So I got them this chick grit while they are smaller and I give this to them every day as well. Oh, well, hello. Hi. How are you? My man thinks that this one might actually be a male. He thinks that since this one is always sitting on top of the water, <laughs> it might be a rooster. I don't know, but it's always on top of either the water or the food bowl. They both just found their way over to the grit for the first time. <laughs> the other one's still bathing. And then my night routine is I come out and I reverse it. I pull the sand, their perch out, I put the brooder in and turn it on. I also have to kind of coax them underneath. It took a few days and then they just started going under on their own. I did also add plastic cups to the top of the food and water that did stop them from getting on top. So then they were not pooping inside of it. It keeps it nice and clean. Not even a few minutes later and they're all underneath, nice and ready for bed, tucked in. We still hear them though. <laughs> There's a face. It's like, oh, the light's on. You better go back in there. It's bedtime. Okay, so I'm going to clean out <laughs> their area again. I went ahead and just stuck them over there with some water for now. I got the new hemp bedding in. So I'm going to take out the hay. I feel like putting the hemp bedding in there would maybe make them more familiar with where their home, their safe zone will be once they're in the actual coop. And plus, I think it's going to make it easier for the cleanup because it's just so messy with them pooping all over the hay and then them pecking at it, trying to eat it. Um, that's kind of gross. So I'm gonna switch this out. I'm not gonna use the hay anymore. Okay, and here are the hopefully all ladies, at least hopefully two ladies that we will be keeping. They love to dirt bathe. Look at them go. <laughs> they had the small little thing that they had, but this time I kind of wanted to do a little different. I kind of want to do almost a half and half where they had the whole dirt area for them to roam in. And then they have the bedding area where they would just have food and water. And then they'll have their poles, which they're drying right now because they had poop on them. So I washed them. So during the night, the brooder will go right there. And then during the day, I will take the brooder out. See all the dust from the <laughs> dirt? <laughs> There's some dirty little things. <laughs> they love the dirt. <laughs> they make it look so fun. <laughs> they definitely make it look so fun, let me tell you. So that's what I'm kind of trying to do now as they're getting a little bit older, get them more used to what they will be kind of doing in the actual coop area. But they, <laughs> they these little bitches love the dirt. <laughs> and their perches are now dried and cleaned. And there is their completed new, <laughs> new area. They're loving this sand. They're so funny. 
Okay, so look what just arrived. I ordered this first Saturday lime. After watching several different reviews, I found that this is one of the best that they recommend, that a lot of different people recommend, and you can use this for several different things around your whole entire yard, garden, chicken coop, any type of animal thing, ponds, like there's so many things that this could be used for. So this is gonna be a little multi-purposer for us. I'm definitely going to be putting this in the chicks um, area. I'm gonna clean out their little home, I guess you would call it, their little box today. And I'm gonna add this to it. And then also once we have the coop and everything done, we'll continue using this. But that's the packaging. And yeah, I'm super excited to use this in my garden, around my yard, and for the chicken coop. So yeah, this is just a monthly insect repellent. It'll also keep your coops nice and fresh. So I'm excited to start using this. And I think this will help my garden with keeping insects out of my garden as well. So right here, it even shows you to prevent ants, mites, ticks, fleas, aphids, small hive beetles, lice, and other pets in organic gardens. Protects homes, barns, stables, coops, greenhouses, kennels, and flower beds whitewash for walls and crafts oh wow i didn't even know that one removes algae from ponds and bird baths as long as there's no pumps you can use it in those freshen and deodorizes chicken coops stables barns and kennels and prevents fleas and ticks in your backyard so again <laughs> i'm so glad i got this i can use it for several different things plus so much more as well this just arrived i ordered this for the ladies and um, I hear these are like the best ones like on Amazon highly recommends. So I went ahead and grabbed this, it's a five pound bag so far. They are really, really loving these. So I grabbed this whole big old bag for the ladies. If you are interested in these, the link will be down below. I'm trying to position it to where maybe you guys can see how, how big they've got. Now they like just fly out on their own. They do poop everywhere. Oh my gosh, these little girls are so, messy it's not even funny let me get this out of the way that's a treat that's not poop by the way whoa hello all right first one out hello 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 i'm gonna clean their cage out Ooh, come on come on oh you got poop on your feet come here See, these, I'm telling you, they're so messy. Hold on, let me get this off your feet. Hold on, stop. Hey, hey, it's okay. Hey. Every time I do clean their tank, I have gloves on and I do have a mask on so I'm not breathing all of this in because I do remove all of the bedding and replace it. Who are you yelling at? Hello, my little girl. Hello, my little girl. Here, why don't you go get some clean water? They love, whoo, watch your head. They love fresh water. Here, get some water. Get some water. Come here. You're so pretty. Say hello. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, well, hello. Look how pretty you're getting. You get all the white or the gray. Hello. Oh, and then you poop. Okay, so they are three weeks today that I've had them. So I'm gonna assume they're maybe four weeks old, but I've had them for three weeks today. I wanna show you how <laughs> they love to come out and just sit out. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hold on. Hey, okay. all right. Hello, girls. Hello, girls. Since the box is kind of tilting in, we kind of made this little makeshift. <laughs> uh oh. Come on, come back out. Come on. Come on. Come on up. There you go. Oop, yeah, they like to, oop, hi. 
Hello. Hello, pretty girl. Hold on. Let me fix this for you. They're so, so curious now. They literally, like, if I don't cover this hole, they will peck this hole and they won't stop. They're just like infatuated on things. So I'll just sit out here. They'll come to me when they want. That one already cooked. I normally keep, oh, good God. Hold on, don't even peck that. That's disgusting. Ma'am, that's gross. Turn of that, please. I'll keep a little bag on the side. Toss everything in. Okay, let's, let's try that again. See, they're just pecking at everything. They're, they'll literally tear apart the box if I let them. Hello. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Come here. Hi. Look at how big you're getting. Ooh, all right. This is the one that is always the biggest. Come here. Hello. Hey, hey, hey. Hi. You're so big. Yes, you are. I try to let them all poop first before I like really start holding them and walking around with them because they poop a lot. Hey, can you stop? <sighs> These, I want to say, are going to be a hen. I hope both of those are too. Come here, let me see. Your little feathers are getting in your eye. Stop. Come here. There you go. Your little feathers was in your eyeball. I fixed it. I did have him make me this to get them to kind of get used to using the ladder when they get the other thing. One of the lighter, the Rhode Island Reds, will go up it, and I think it's going to right now. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. <laughs> oh, good girl. Good job. Good job. So yeah, these are the ladies at three weeks. I've had them now three weeks. So again, I'll assume they're between, I'm gonna say they're about four weeks old. I don't know, but I know I have had them now three weeks. And it's just so cool to see how much they've grown how all of their feathers are coming in and how both of my Easter eggers are two completely different colors. So if both of them end up being hens, I, I, I think I'm gonna go beyond what I said and I'm going to end up keeping three of them because how can I decide between the colors? They're beautiful. Their colors are just gorgeous. They're both getting to like, you know, get to know us. They're both becoming friendly. I just, I couldn't choose. So if these are both hens, I'm keeping both of them. And then one of these little, these little beauties, these little beauties, huh? These right here, the Rhode Island Reds, they will have a variation of just brown, all brown colored eggs. The Easter Eggers will lay any type of a variation of different colors of blue, green, and pink. So maybe in another five, to six months from now hopefully we'll be seeing some some colored eggs and i'm excited hello you're so curious huh yes you are you're so pretty today i've had them for four weeks <laughs> they've gotten so big in just four weeks it's sad they're not so small anymore but it's so exciting to see all the beautiful colors hi They're kind of in that weird stage where they're still missing feathers, but they're getting some beautiful color. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> and inside now they have half dirt and then they have a big roosting post because they're they're big chickens. The other ones are too small for their big old feet. They're just so fun. They're just so mischievous. They want to get into everything. They want to learn. I'll walk them around the backyard, one each. Let them see and explore. I'll set them in the grass every now and then. Let them peck a few times to get used to it. But they're getting so big. 
Mm -hmm. Literally, yep, flying the coop. Okay, so these little girls are becoming a handful. So I bought this to put out here so I can just add it to the top of this grass. And then I know they're safe and secure and nothing is going to get them because it will be enclosed. So let's set this up and let's get them out here for the first time. So here is the first lucky lady. Second one going in. Hello, pretty girl. Here is the next contender. <laughs> And here is the fourth lady, hopefully lady. Yeah, you get a better view. They're running around enjoying themselves, but that takes up a good majority of the little grass area that I laid down with sod. So that's, I like this little thing. I'm glad I got it for them. Now they can run around for a little while and get some energy out during the day when I'm home. Well, in the evening, right now it's about six o'clock. So we have like two hours of daylight still. So yeah, I just put them in there and they're loving it. Hi. So there's my two Easter eggers. Oop. I don't want them coming out. Woo. Hi. Okay, I'll zip you up. I better go fix all the zippers because um, they are opened. I saw that on the top one where I put them in, which I already fixed. So make sure if you uh, get this one, you fix your Fix your zippers. There we go. Okay. Definitely do not want them getting out. This one's mid shaft too. Look, halfway opened. Okay. And yeah, so there's just the two front doors and then the two top openings. Pretty nifty. I think they agree. Another learning fact is that the chickens are supposed to roost at night, so they should be on their actual perch. Now we put one in the box and they're perching. Okay, so I wanted to show you what their home looks like now. We made some changes because the box started kind of falling apart. They were eating it. We had to tape it. They were eating it. We put a, um, a bar here so they can roost at night now that they're big enough. Um, they like that higher one so much better than like the lower one. See like for example, see all of that is eat. <laughs> they ate all of that off all the way over there. <laughs> so I'm hoping this will get them by for one more week and then they will be in their new home out there. So they only have one more week left and then we should have that area done for them. Okay, so they all finally just went back home. They will jump out if I do that too long, but there they are. See what I say, they're getting a little too big for their home. 
I would also walk them around to show them their coop area as we were doing it so they could see the process. And little Vienna is warming up to them more and more as they're getting bigger. I then bought the scratch grain so they can start scratching and using this as a little treat. And then I also got the poultry grit so once they get older, I can give them that. Okay, so here are the two Rhode Island Reds. I did give one of them to my man's sister. This was the last photo that I took of him. I thought this was the cutest picture ever. But one of them did go to his sister and now they are ready to go in their own home. So the three that we are keeping, hopefully all three are hens. So if they are, we will be keeping all of them. But right now I'm trying to get it inside of the home for the first time and it is not cooperating. It's never been in here. Plus it is getting a little dark. So this is going to be a hard process, but I eventually got all three of them in there. Okay, so they were in there all night for the very first time last night. We had them for seven and a half weeks. It took us seven and a half weeks to get this ready so they can go into their new home. So now let's go wake them up. I'm going to go ahead and just let them out for the first time. So let them come out for the very first time and see what happens. Come on, girls. Chuck, 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 chuck. Chuck, 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 chuck. Come here. Hi. Come here. Come on. Come on. Hello. Come here. Ooh, oh, thank you for pooping. Come on. Hi. Come on, come on. So this is going to be their first time coming out into their coop area. Come on, babies. Come on, pretty girls. Oh, hello. <laughs> First one on the ground. Hello, pretty girl. Let me get their water out and I will clean this out. This was their first night in here. I'm gonna get them some fresh water and I'll bring their food out for them for the day. The chickens absolutely love these tops here of my carrots. <laughs> so I honestly don't mind if carrots even grow. I'm just giving these to my girls, making them happy. So I'm gonna grab a little handful and then I'm gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of thyme. and a little bit of oregano. And this is what I'm going to give them. They're out here for the, the very first time. So this is the biggest area that they have had. <laughs> Hello, pretty girls. Okay, so this is what they love. I have a bigger water container coming. It was supposed to be delivered today, but it's not. So, chip, chip. They like the carrot ones like the best. Ooh, 
we still need to build the perches over there and then today we're going to start working on the feeders that we're going to put right here for their food but until then i just set this out here for the day here comes the boss this is the first time she's going to see them actually out here let's see what happens <laughs> Uh oh I ate no bad get back thank you <laughs> I know this is the first time she's eye level with them <laughs> she'll get used to them eventually I mean see she's minding her own business now I gave them some um, stuff from the garden I know they do good girl Ooh. A. It's okay. I need to ask permission around here. <laughs> this is the first time they've had this big of an area. Normally they've just been in that little pin. Mm -hmm. So they're going to have fun. It took them a good minute to find. There you <laughs> It took them a minute to figure out how to get out and to come down because they have never been just on sand like this. Mm -hmm. So they didn't know what in the world was going on. <laughs> They'll probably dust bath everywhere, but at least I know this is a nice clean area for them to do it. I'm definitely going to have to plant carrots in their little pecking garden that I make soon. All right, you guys. So that, in a nutshell, basically is the girls from the first day that they came home with us until their first day in their own coop area. It was bittersweet putting them in there because it was they grew up and it's like you're not right here anymore but it was so so nice to get my patio back have everything nice and cleaned in my patio again have them out in their own area now um it was just a really neat experience with them so small in their box with the brooder when they got bigger i didn't put the brooder in there anymore they started like pretty much eating their whole entire box so by the time they went into their coop like every inch inside the box was pretty much covered for what they could reach because they were trying to literally eat eat themselves out of their home. <laughs> I'm like, what in the world? That cannot be good for you. But they're, they're chickens. I, 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 I couldn't do anything. I couldn't watch them all day while I was at work. But when I come home, I'm like, oh boy, this big old area is gone. So here goes this. This big old area is gone. Okay, here goes this. It was just one of those things. <laughs> but they were just getting too big in their home. The weather was not helping us out because some days when we were all ready to start working on the coop, Mother Nature had a different plan for us. It would start raining and we couldn't do anything or it was like 112. It was an experience to say the least. And I'm so glad that it's pretty much done now. I mean, there's a few little things here and there that we might have to do from time to time. I do want to make them a little pecking garden inside. So there's a few things that I will be doing, but at least the bulk of it is now all done. They're in their own home and they're loving it. So that is, again, them in a nutshell from day one until they went to their own home. And now through the subscription boxes and other video updates and stuff, I will be showing you them as they keep growing and learning and developing into their own little personalities. I'm so glad that I actually took the plunge and got chickens. I never thought that I would be a chicken owner, but now I don't see me any other way, <laughs> to be honest. So there is that. Comment down below. Let me know what did you think of them? Did you know that they grow so quick? Like when they were at four weeks, I was like, what in the world? You went from this to this. Like, where did the time go? But then now, like I said, they they look almost, they're not full grown. They're definitely a lot bigger. They have a lot more room to grow and to fill in. But it's just like, you're so big. And then sometimes you pick them up and then it's just like, boom, because they're just all feathers. They're little tiny body inside. I'm like, you're still so tiny. <laughs> they're just so much fun. So much fun. So comment down below. Let me know. Have you ever had chickens? Do you want to? Did you think that they grew up this fast and like... <laughs> We're like this one day and psh, the next like let me know comment down below your positive interaction means the world and i greatly do appreciate it as i greatly appreciate every single one of you guys so until next time you know that drill keep a smile on that gorgeous face of yours and we'll see you on the next one bye crafty crew out